Back here on UFC Ultimate Insider, presented by Harley Davidson. For more than a decade, Frank Mir has awed MMA fans with an array of slick submissions, securing his legacy as one of the most feared heavyweights of all time. In honor of his career, we asked the brothers Gracie to take a closer look at one of Mir's most memorable achievements, his submission of all-time great Minotauro Noguera. This is a Gracie breakdown for the ages. What's up, guys? I'm Henry Gracie. This is my brother, Hidon. It was UFC 140, and the stage was set for an epic battle between two of the most respected heavyweight submission artists of our era, Frank Mir and Antonio Rodrigo Noguera. The fight ended in one of the most spectacular submission finishes of all time. All of us were shocked, even this guy. This is Gracie Breakdown. Halfway through the first round, Mir and Noguera get into a pretty heavy stand-up exchange. Noguera gets the better half of him. Takes him big trouble, huge trouble. Mir drops and he shoots what we call the desperate double leg. Noguera does a great job sprawling and turning out around the corner. At this point, he's delivering blows. Frank is out, Mike. Curb team right on top of the action. He's dazed, and Joe Rogan's yelling, he's going out. Frank is out, Mike. So many fights end here. Yes. However, Noguera had to go back to his jungle roots. He wanted that guillotine finish. So he comes around, he rocks the neck, he grabs his wrist, he stands up, he shoots the arm in guillotine. He's going for a choke right here. Amazing move. Oh, he's got a guillotine. Looking to finish it right here. And at this point, Noguera loses his balance up to the north. They spin this way, and he gets on top. As soon as this happens, Noguera shoots an underhook, and you see Mir control the situation. Noguera slips his head out, boom, and starts to look for the switch, which he does probably better than anyone else in MMA. Elisa gives him an opportunity to recover if Minotaur doesn't hit the switch. The problem was his arm was left behind, and even though Mir's back almost got taken, he locked the Kimura grips right here on the wrist. Noguera was not quick enough yes. to throw this leg in over the top, which left the window for Mir to do the crossbody jump. This changes everything because now that my body's not on this side, there is actually space and an opportunity to break the arm on this side. Mir gets very excited at this point. He switches his hips. Kamura to Frank Mir! He turns north, and at this point, he starts to lift and drive the hand north. Can he get the submission? The only problem was Noguera's head is not trapped at this point. So even though we're lifting the head very high and we're twisting it, Noguera kept sitting up off his other arm, pushing himself up, and we lost our balance. So Noguera rolled. Mir's leg is already over the head. There's no more sitting up because the leg is pinning the neck down. He lifted and he drove this hand north. And it went, and it went, and it went. And then, my friends, it went. With this unforgettable submission over Antonio Rodrigo Noguera, Frank Mir cemented his position as one of the elite submission masters in UFC history. I'm Henner, this is Hiron, thanks for watching.